feud split? What to choose and what's the best uh, decision to make for the per uh, future perspective? So just please could you just give, give us your thoughts. Like what do you think like, uh, regarding marketing, uh, finance, HR, what's happening in the market? Could you please just help us with something which you are really you know, facing in uh, your daily life right? and could you please share us your thoughts? Sure. So what exactly happens, first of all, if you want to be uh, choosing your specialization, you have to be very clear in your minds that what are you good at? You are you good at pitching people, meeting people, convincing people, marketing. If you are good with number crunching, analysis, if you are having that analytical thinking mind, if you are having that kind of, you can say, uh, proper uh, bird eye view vision, you should go for finance. And if you like have a quality of interacting with lot many people having specializing or you can say a mix up kind of thing, meeting new people, understanding new things and so you should go for a chat. So this is my suggestion and this is my view about the thing and definitely I have to choose finance because being an engineering background, I was good at numbers, I have been good at technical skills. So I thought that doing an MBA would give me an added advantage of having a managerial skills to brush up my managerial you can say knowledge is whatever I have learned in my past and then maybe leading a good chunk of a group in some good company. So sir, as an interviewer, what is the first thing that you see and you say that okay I see this part and secondly I want to say that pressing you have been a part and you have been seeing the growth and all. So over the next 10 years where do we see our college representing? and what are things we can do to improve as a team. Okay. So, improvement as such, I would not suggest any kind of improvements like things are going into well, proper fitment today. Okay. Plus, I just wanted to, you can say, just give in suggestions to develop uh, the students on technical skills, more on analytical thinking. Plus, I would definitely see one day Western compare, you can say comparing with IIMs. I know that is a dream, but if you have a dream, you have a path, and when you have a path, you follow the path, and when you follow the path, you achieve it. That is my aspirations for Western. So just one more thing, like just as you said, uh, you were very good with numbers. But actually, I am you, your case and my case, it's the same. Like I also feel like I'm good with numbers, so I chose finance. Yes. So uh, how like uh, good you have to be with the basics of finance? Like if you want to do something very really good in your future with finance, how important is it for people to understand the basics of finance? <laughs> so I would like to start this uh, answering this question as this way. I being an engineer, I don't know what is debit, what is credit. Okay, so that Vasim was the first, uh, you can say, institute when I came in, when I heard the different things about debit, credit, balance sheet, profit and loss statements. So that was very new for me. But I definitely, you can say, uh, thankful, very thankful to my faculties who took an extra classes, who took an extra effort after hours effort. To understand, especially the engineering and non-finance background batch, to understand the financial concepts, to make us very strong in from day one and all the semesters. So definitely for semester one, we were having a bit difficulty to make ourselves comfortable with that. But definitely the amount of efforts that faculties have taken, it's very excellent. And that is what is the reason we have done such a finance successfully and excelling our careers. So thank you sir for your valuable and also and uh, we hope that everyone who is watching this video actually learns something interesting and for more videos stay updated. Thank you. Thank you. See you.